Welcome, everybody. No. Hello, it's Herbert. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's Herbert today, and I would like to take you on my bachelor trip. So I was in Germany, now I'm back. It started with two of my friends, Matti and Chris, going to the airport with me in Berlin. Hello, everyone. It's Herbert. I'm gonna take you on a, on a trip this time and the trip is actually about my bachelor's party. You know, usually it's, it's a surprise if you do a bachelor thingy. So I, I cannot say it's like a complete surprise to me right now because like all my friends are all over the world. We kind of had to coordinate a little bit, but still I don't know the details. So it's gonna be fun. Yeah, right now we are in Berlin airport already. And now let's head out. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit, in a little bit, where we're actually going. So we see uh, two already, two stray animals in their natural habitat. We are going to beautiful Romania. We took the flight to Romania. In Romania, we met three more guys, Auni, Jonas and uh, Fabian. Okay, so now we uh, went from the airport to pick up a car. We are quite in the time crunch apparently because we need to, uh, we have a reservation in the club and it's already 7 p.m. The drive is about three hours and we gotta be there at 10. So let's go, the driver is ready. And actually, uh, not a funny story, or but kind of a bummer, because two more guys we met already, but obviously there was one, two, three, so they're missing. One suitcase didn't arrive from Jonas, so he has to wait for his uh, suitcase, which is going to arrive ob uh, apparently with the next flight in about two hours. So I guess we're gonna meet them in the club. You know, it's not a perfect start, but only can get better. <laughs> so we all met up in the club the first night and it was great because I haven't seen them in a while, at least not in this kind of setting. It was a very long night. I think we partied until 6 a.m. or so, then we walked to the beach. Good morning. So day number two. Uh, how how do you feel? Average. Medium food. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we are heading to a, a beach, bar, club, where we're gonna get food and uh, try to get back to life. And some drinks maybe. Yo. <laughs> See you later. The next day we slept in a little bit, then we went to uh, a pool party where we ate and it was more relaxing. Before the night, we huddled up a little bit. So we talked about why I selected each of them, because all of them mean um, a very special great deal to me many different ways because I met them at different stages in my life that's why also I didn't select the best men I select maybe all of them as best men by then they already got their gifts and it was a little wristband I was the only one actually have it as an ankle some shot glasses and um, a box where they can put some more memories in it yeah so I'm gonna open up the box 
It's not the first time you opened it. I remember nope. the first time you, you didn't know how to open it. Not the first time. And um, so here's the invitation. That's actually a picture of Herbert and me uh, of our first game together in America when we played together in college. And then he asked if I wanted to be one of his best men. Uh, obviously, how could I say no to that? Uh, so I said yes. This band <coughs> uh, over here or yeah, around my arm. And that's basically what's what's in the box. Uh, what's in the box? What's in the box? Ah, and yeah, a lot of whatever this is. Um, <laughs> I don't know if there's any meaning to that. And um, yeah, I can't wait for next year to, to be at the wedding. And I'm sure some of you guys will be there or follow it somehow, um, what we do there and everything. Um, yeah. So thank you very much, Herbert. You're welcome. So while you're enjoying Herbert's bachelor party, let's quickly jump back to me and talk about my wedding dress. So thank you Lace and Liberty for sponsoring this video. I haven't told you guys yet, but I am getting my dress custom made from Lace and Liberty. It is super exciting. We've already done the sketches and the mock-up. I can't show you just yet, but you'll be able to see in a few months and it is super exciting. Lace and Liberty is a custom designed wedding dress brand based in San Francisco, but their team works virtually with brides all over the country. With Lace and Liberty, you can design your exact style from your neckline, skirt silhouette that looks best on you, choosing your favorite lace and color elements, really everything from scratch. You can add any accessories or flair. If you want an eight foot long train, you can get that. If you want a cape, you can get that. You can add anything that you really truly desire. Now for the price range, it's anywhere between 1500 to 5000, but for the average cost, it's two to 3000. Of course, if you want to add all the fancy laces and all the things you want, it could go up in price, but it's actually pretty affordable for every everything that you can do from scratch. So how you get started is the first step is you have a complimentary consultation with the designer. It is for free. Then you get to designing. Their designers will work directly with you to create a personalized sketch and to choose the best fabric and lace for you. The dress comes to life from their workshops. Also small edits are still possible at this stage and your final design will be approved by you before it's completed. They have great testimonials. You can read them on the website. But if you're getting married or you know anyone who is and you're looking for a dress, check out Lace and Liberty. I think it is really great to customize your own dress from scratch and really make your vision come to life. And now, back to the video. Second night, we went out again. Not a trip where we checked out a lot of stuff. It was more like partying and getting together. And that was really, really special. I especially liked that everyone got along so well. another rough night uh, some of the guys already left to the airport and we are going to get some food now <laughs> oh and then head to Bucharest to spend the last day together a little bit more calm I guess today and tomorrow we're gonna fly back Aoni and Fabian had to leave early because they got to or they have to go to work on Monday Jonas Chris Mati and I went to Bucharest which is the capital of Romania and then we had a spa night and went out to get some dinner. So we are now in Bucharest. Just went to the spa. I think that was necessary after the last two days. And now we're gonna head to the city, get some food and enjoy the last night. The next day we went back, we went to the airport and Flew back. Okay, back to the airport. It was a long weekend. Now we're heading back to Germany. Now we're heading back to uh, Germany. It was a very uh, intense <laughs> few days. 
but very nice and very memorable. So it was really cool. Thank you for everyone involved in the planning. Um, I love you guys. Um, so while I'm waiting for YB, um, just to prove that she's here, you can like and subscribe to support the YB's channel and to support us. So like and subscribe and... <laughs> And I'm here. Did you like and subscribe? My bachelor trip is not for a while, so you guys will have to wait a little for that one, but I will surely film that one too. And I edit this one. Yeah, you will edit that one. Um, so thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye!